Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra and Lavender Mystic is uh, my channel. And today we have a special guest. My sister Francesca joins us today to open our Beating School Academy box for the month of April and May. Um, hey, Fra. Say hey. Hello. Okay, so we're just going to open this box and Fra likes glass, right? That's some of your favorite jewelry, the glass jewelry? Yeah, I don't, I don't like the other stuff. It's like an idiosyncrasy. I only like glass. Okay, you don't like gemstones or anything like that. So I thought this was perfect. But before we do that, I wanted to show Fra a little bit like what this box is, um, you know, what you can make with these boxes. So she can kind of see that it's a bit of a different. It's not just like, you know, normal uh, glass beads, but something that you weave together. So I wanted to show you also, guys, what I made with this uh, box, the last two boxes. So the first thing I made were these earrings. And the great thing about this box is that you get um, you get the patterns for the earrings. Sorry, I got the wrong one. The patterns of the earrings from the beading school box. So what do you think, Fra? Aren't these pretty? Yeah, they're really pretty, really sparkly. So they're all bead weaved. So what do you do? You take like um, basically like a thread and it's kind of complicated. It's almost like a puzzle where you have to make things fit in a certain way. So it's really nice to get patterns because I'm new to bead weaving and a lot of these guys know um, so I am not an expert. I couldn't come up with my own patterns right now for sure. But so these were done with the box from, uh, the Van Gogh, um, the Van Gogh theme. And then I had two more done with the Van Gogh theme as far as earrings. So they look like that. I don't know if you guys can see. And, uh, these were actually done with a different pattern that came in a separate box. So there's also sparkly. Everything is glass, is chat glass. Um, Chat glass is really high quality glass. Uh, I don't know if Rat knows that, but uh, it's considered one of the best quality glass. And then I made these. They remind me of the sunflowers from Van Gogh, but in blue. Uh, and this was actually a pattern that came in the last bead box. This was like the jewels of the Maharaja. So we went from uh, Van Gogh and we traveled to India for the next box. So everything is themed, you know, like um, there's a theme for every box. So the first one was uh, the Van Gogh, and then the second one was the Jewels of the Maharaja. So I made one of those, the Maharaja patterns, but with the uh, Van Gogh box, and that's how it turned out. And then I follow a YouTuber uh, that did their own design for these huge earrings, and I think they're really beautiful. And these took a long time. I think they took about six hours to make. So is all of that glass? Like yes, the all pink of it. Thingies? Yes, everything is glass, except for maybe this part that's metal. But right, right. everything else is glass, yes. Those are pretty. I don't think I'd ever wear them because they look big. But... They are big, but they're surprisingly really light. That's the beauty of this. Um, and then we got also another pattern that we got from the Maharaja box. And I like these because they look kind of like mandalas. Do you know what mandalas are from? Yeah, yeah, those do look like mandalas. So I thought it was kind of perfect India mandalas, you know, and then you got the little mandalas up here. And they're Easter Maybe colors too. Yeah. So that's some of the stuff that I made. Oh, and I forgot one more thing because we saw a lot of earrings. But um, I also made a bracelet, and this one took a long time as well because these patterns are a little bit more complicated. But if you're a beginner, don't worry because they're really easy to follow. Erica Sandor, uh, the designer, does a really good job of putting patterns together. So That's really pretty. Yeah, this is a beautiful bracelet. I really love it. Can I try it on? Yeah, absolutely. So it's just a magnetic clasp. And Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah. You know, I have a birthday coming up. <laughs> She's already asking for it, isn't she? <laughs> But let's go ahead and open this. So the theme for this mo two months box is the uh, Art Deco. Do you know what Art Deco is, Fra? Uh, not, no, no. Okay, so it's an art movement that happened pretty much in the Industrial Revolution. So there were like a lot of these patterns that were very geometric and very, you know, square. But it was also mixed with the Art Nouveau style, if you know what that is. That's a more floral 1920s style mm -hmm. okay. that has, think of, uh, I don't know if you know Alphonse Mucha, it's like one of the famous artists, you can look him up if you want. But, um, okay, so when you think of Art Deco, think The Great Gatsby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what you get. So you get a lot of sparkling emeralds and geometric shapes, but also pearls. So it's kind of an in-between, this industrial revolution and this classic style. Uh, so, but let's go ahead and open this box. I always like the uh, Beating School Academy box because they, they pack a lot of stuff in here. So you'll be surprised. <laughs> so, ooh. You so are not kidding. We are getting a lot of sparklies. Ooh. So let's put them to the side and let's uh, pull one by one. 
Can we start with the green ones? So Fra wanted to start with these with our eight millimeter per seal of pure chatons in air and night. So that's the color. So let's get them out. So we're looking at them right now. Pretty sparkly, huh? And these don't have a foil. You'll see that some of them have a foil. These are the ones without foils. And I actually kind of prefer that because the foil tends to get scratched sometimes. Mm. So I kind of prefer these gem-like. They remind me more of gemstones. Okay, next we have these other green uh, pendants. They're 8 by 32 millimeter glass pendants in metal settings in tourmaline green. Here you go, Fra. Look at these. Yeah, it's very green. They're it's really just... pretty. It's almost like a Kelly green, but better because it's, yeah. it's a well, more emerald-ish. Yeah, I think it's more emerald for sure. I love that emerald. Did you know that that's my birthstone technically? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's for Taurus. Do you know what yours is? I'm um, ruby. Ruby, ooh, I love that. But I actually prefer sapphire. You do? Okay. I actually prefer amethyst, but I still like emeralds too. Look, speaking of rubies, these are gla glass pendants in metal setting in Siam. So it's a type of red that's called Siam. It's very close to ruby, isn't it, though? Yeah, it is. I think those would be really even pretty, like, individually as necklaces or something like that. Yeah, it's even really by pretty. themselves, yeah, just very some ear wires. Very pretty. It's like a good pretty. size, not too, not too big and not too yeah. little. Yeah, yeah. And then we get more reds, and these are 8 millimeter Preciosa Pure Chaton. So usually what you do with these, you bezel them up with little seed beads, like I did with those. Mm. And then... Uh, you know, you can make pieces starting from kind of like the center. Mm -hmm. uh, usually um, you use this technique called peyote, which is like, a, I believe it's a Native American technique uh, that started there and it's just kind of spread in the beading world, you know. Sorry, guys, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to explain a little bit because <laughs> my sister does not do beading at all. Yeah, uh, but, this is really um, not my area of expertise. But it's pretty interesting, I think, you know, to explain things. Mm -hmm. So, And then we got this giant stone. It's an 18 millimeter Preciosa Rivoli crystal agent flare. So the Rivoli's are usually like this interesting stones that are like double pointed. Mm. Uh, and this is one of those foiled ones, see? So um, the best thing to do is to put a sealant on it so it doesn't scratch as easily because it will over time probably. But um, so what do you do with that side? What do you do with that side? Oh, it, it's usually the backing of the bezel is going to be here and it's going to be a little bit of a front, you know, to hold it in. Okay gonna go quickly through these but uh these are just the seed beads that come with this box we're getting some delicas in metallic bronze uh some 15 o miyuki's in labrador um some nickel plated in 11 o some 11 o's and uh matte light pewter um so that we have a little bit of a contrast between shiny and matte and then we get these beautiful golds where i kind of like the signature colors of the art deco you'll see a lot of art deco with gold colors so fry is gonna pick the next item because she wants to unbox too and she's going to show us. Let's do this one. This looks okay. pretty. Lots of shiny. Yay. I think you told me before that we're all just kind of magpies deep down. And I think that that is accurate. You it's know what like I found out? Actually, shiny. I found out that the magpie is in a European folklore and it's not true. Magpies don't like shiny things. Oh, really? Yeah, crows do apparently though. Well, then we're all crows. So she picked these and these are 8 by 18 millimeter glass pendant spike crystal AB. And you can see that beautiful AB means Aurora Borealis, Francesca. Oh. So you can see that beautiful sparkle that kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis. And mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite it finishes so there you go you guys just fish these out and front ask what are these guys these are slender bugles metallic bronze you remember the bracelet mm -hmm. like this one right here she was asking what they were where these are these oh okay so they're yep. just a type of bead you know bugle beads they often used in like fringes and stuff like that but um they can be used creatively like erica did there too and as i mentioned she's a pretty talented designer because it takes a long time to come up with that for sure mm -hmm. So Frap fish this one out because she was interested and we are getting two filigree pieces. Uh, and these are created with, in the same factories that did it a long time ago. That's what Erica said. Um, and these are called 12 by 50 millimeter Excalibur filigree in antique silver. So it has kind of like that nice uh, pewter almost look, look to it, you know. It kind of looks like the sword, doesn't it? I can see why it's called Excalibur. But uh Usually you can bead an element here to make it a little bit more fancy or, you know, dangle some beads and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, ne next we get some 8 by 13 pair glass cabochon emeralds. So we saw some emerald before. Of course, you have some coordinated elements to play with. What they look like. The back is kind of that uh, almost silver that is toned down foil. And then the front is this beautiful emerald again. And now why do you care about covering up the backs of those? Uh, well, uh, 
you want to make sure that you try to cover them back up like or seal them because once the foil comes off, uh, it can show through to the other side and then you'll have like a blotch. Mm, okay. So and that's what happens with a lot of vintage jewelry. Unfortunately, it gets ruined because, you know, over time the foil comes off. So mm. um, usually what I like to do, I like to put some kind of sealant or just beat all the way back or as much as possible so that it just gets it's covered up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, next we get some six millimeter Preciosa so on rhinestone in Siam in gold color settings. So these have little teeny holes that you can just pass your bead weaving through and uh, you can use them as centers usually. Uh, we I had used some in some of those earrings. Let me pull it so you can see. So this is one of them, like right there. That's the center that has been weaved in there. So it's actually kind of nice because it's really in there. It won't come off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got uh, some glass rings that are 10 millimeters um, in Labrador full, crystal Labrador full. So I'm not really sure what we're going to use these for, to be honest with you. I was going to ask you about that. And they also um, look like metal. They really don't look like glass. That's yeah, so but they're, yeah, they're, they're glass though. And they are meant to look like glass metal. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that Erica has some surprise designs because she releases the designs throughout the two months. They're not necessarily all at once, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice because you get a little surprise and you're like, oh, what, what are we going to do with these? And then... She shows us, which is really nice. It's so kind I'm, of like a puzzle. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, you know, for sure. So we got all those bright colors, as we can see. So sometimes you have to have some more toned down colors, like this bronze, to just kind of anchor them in. Otherwise, everything becomes way too bright, and then there's no texture, and there's no differentiation. Mm -hmm. So for these, we got some 5 by 8 Vexolo Jet Bronze. That's just the shape of the bead. Um, and it's got two little holes that you go through and I've never used Vixola beads before. So it's going to be interesting to learn how to use them as well. Okay. So the next thing we got four millimeter Preciosa bicone beads in crystal AB two times, which means that the AB, the aurora borealis washes all the way around the bead versus like half of the bead. So that's what it means. And these are really nice to bead weave with. I love, I have tons of them and I've used ton of them too. They go fast too. So Frog got these out, uh, and these are like 8 by 13 claw, claw for pearl cabochon in gold color. And these are for those uh, cabochons we saw earlier, the emerald ones. Um, so you just set them in there, and I think you push them. I think Erica has a video already out on her channel on how to do it, which, you know, if you guys got this box, make sure you go check out the Beating School channel because it has a lot of resources. Okay, so the next one we got is a 10 by 60 millimeter uh, shiny diamond box clasp. And well, you know, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it's pretty shiny. It's pretty diamondy, I guess. So you guys can see it better. Pretty clasp. Okay, then we got this 47 by 20 millimeters Art Deco diamond metal charm. And now we see that Art Deco style coming through the geometric, you know. Uh, so this is probably going to be nice with like a bead weave pendant, you know, at the bottom. So we got some more emerald, and these are in the four millimeter Preciosa bicone beads. We're almost at the end of the box, so let's just speed it up a little bit. Okay, so we got two sizes of pearls. We got a three millimeter and a four millimeter, um, and they're kind of mattified, so it's not you know the super shiny pearls, which is kind of nice. I like the mattes too. It's a nice contrast. Yeah, definitely. We got two different sizes of three millimeter fire polish beads in crystal amber full, and it's kind of like that bronze color. I'm not gonna take them out, but you guys can see them. We also get three millimeter Perseosa bicone beads in crystal or aurum full. So it's like that gold again. I really love this one. I use it mixed with other um, crystal beads as well. It really is really nice. They're the teeniest of the fire polish in this box and they're two millimeters. So very, very small, but they usually come in pretty handy. I think they're about the size of an 11 maybe, uh, maybe just a little bigger. Then finally, um, we have some uh, ear studs included in the box. Uh, these are 5 by 10 millimeter Art Deco ear studs, and they have the little green emeralds to go with the rest of the beads. Very pretty. Okay, so our last item is 6 by 20 diamond ear wire gold colors with Cubis Zirconia. Um, so they have that beautiful Art Deco look to them. Again, the geometric with a little bit of sparkliness, diamond Great Gatsby style. So we're thinking of the Roaring Twenties here. So let me just put everything together so we can do an overview and maybe you can tell me your favorite pieces. I'll let Francesca decide which ones are the best. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and here we are, guys. This is everything you get in the box. So they fit a lot in that little box, don't they, Fran? Yep. Uh, so which ones are your favorite pieces? I'm going to let you pick your favorites. Does this mean free birthday present? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> well, I can't really wear these, but I really like these. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, Fran, unfortunately, can't wear earrings, right? Because right. you're allergic. Right, right. Yeah. 
Um, and then, I don't know, I think I really like this combo. It's really pretty. Um, actually, I really like these guys. It's just a really pretty green. And then um, I like these attachments and the pearls. I don't know. I kind of like it all. It's all really pretty. This is pretty. I mean, it looks like the yeah. Excalibur sword. So I just think it looks it looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I got to say I like everything. So it's hard for me to pick. But yeah, the whole Emerald vibe, it's pretty much spot on for our deco. It makes me think the Great Gatsby, Gatsby you know. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm actually Great mm -hmm. Gatsby. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I definitely actually plan to watch the movie again because Erica Sander mentioned it and she's like, maybe you should watch the movie to get in the mood. And I'm like, I definitely got to do that. It's been a while since I've seen it. Did you see the Leonardo DiCaprio one? If I'm going to be honest, no, because I really didn't like the book. Oh. I don't know if that's blasphemy, but I tried reading it three times and I didn't like it. Any yeah, I heard a lot of people didn't like the book very much. Honestly, I never read it myself, but I got to say the movie was really, really good. So it's just the Daisy cries about the shirts like 55 times. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, Daisy, like, let it go. They're just shirts. You need to get over your upper class, whatever. Yeah, I don't remember that happening much in the movie, but I remember the Probably movie. Probably on purpose. Yeah, the movie was pretty good, so you should give it a... You know, you should give it a watch, especially Leonardo DiCaprio is always amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing so. actor. But either way, just because I don't like I don't like the book doesn't mean I don't appreciate the style. I think if I could have it my way, we would just move back to that fashion and yeah. just all walk around like with amazing the hats, 20s, and yeah, <laughs> amazing drop 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 lace dresses. I would be down. Yeah, that would be really fun. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching today and thanks for being with us. We had a lot of fun. I think I did have a lot of fun. Did you? I mean. I have to spend time with you. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yes, this was fun. Thanks for explaining what the different pieces do. I definitely would be pretty clueless if I opened this on my own. So, and it's very sparkly. Sparkly is pretty. Yeah, sparkles are good. We're all little pros. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you could. I would love to have you again. In the meanwhile, I hope that you get a lot of crafting time and lots of fun, whatever your craft is. If you like painting, if you like making things with beads, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.